Systems theory is a way of understanding how different parts of a system interact and influence each other. A system is any set of connected parts that work together as a whole, whether it is a biological organism, a machine, an organisation, or a society. Systems theory emphasises that the whole system is greater than the sum of its parts because the relationships between the parts create unique behaviours and outcomes. It also focuses on feedback loops, which help systems adjust and maintain stability or lead to change. This perspective is useful in many fields as it helps explain how complex structures function and adapt over time. Systems theory was first developed in the 20th century by biologist Ludwig von Bertalampfi, who wanted to create a general framework for understanding how systems operate in different fields. He believed that similar patterns and principles could be found in biological, social and mechanical systems. His ideas were later expanded by researchers in fields such as engineering, psychology and business, leading to the development of various system-based models. The theory became widely used in fields like ecology, where it helps explain how ecosystems function, and in management, where it is applied to improving organisational efficiency. Over time, systems theory has influenced many disciplines, providing a structured way to analyse complex problems. Now let's look at some examples of systems theory in action. In biology, the human body is a system made up of different organs that work together to maintain life. If one organ fails, it affects the entire body, demonstrating how interdependent systems function. In business, a company is a system where different departments, such as marketing, production and customer service, must work together for success. A breakdown in one area, like supply chain issues, can disrupt the entire organisation. Another example is in environmental science, where ecosystems function as systems with plants, animals and climate interacting. Changes in one element, such as pollution affecting water quality, can have widespread effects on the entire ecosystem. These examples show how systems theory applies to many different areas of study. One strength of systems theory is that it helps people understand complex problems by looking at how different parts interact, rather than focusing on isolated components. This makes it especially useful in fields like medicine, where doctors must consider how different body systems affect each other when diagnosing a patient. Another strength is that it emphasises adaptability and feedback, which helps explain how systems respond to change. For example, businesses use feedback loops to adjust their strategies based on customer responses. Additionally, systems theory can be applied across many disciplines, making it a valuable tool for researchers and problem solvers in fields ranging from engineering to psychology. One weakness of systems theory is that it can sometimes be too broad, making it difficult to apply in specific situations, because it focuses on connections between parts rather than individual elements. It may not always provide clear solutions to detailed problems. Another weakness is that systems are often unpredictable, and while the theory helps explain general patterns, it does not always account for sudden changes or external influences that can disrupt a system. For example, in economics, market behaviour is influenced by many unpredictable factors, making it hard to model entirely through systems theory. These limitations suggest that while systems theory is useful for understanding complexity, it may need to be combined with other approaches for practical problem solving. There are several alternative approaches that offer different ways of analysing complex problems. One alternative is reductionism which focuses on breaking a system down into its individual components to understand how each part works separately. This method is useful in fields like chemistry, where studying individual molecules provides insight into larger reactions. Another alternative is chaos theory, which examines how small changes can lead to unpredictable outcomes in complex systems. This approach is often used in weather forecasting, where tiny variations in conditions can create vastly different results. A third alternative is network theory, which studies how connections between elements influence the overall behaviour of a system, such as in social media analysis. Each of these alternatives provides a different perspective on how systems function and change.